In this tutorial I will show you how to create an immersive material in Unreal Engine. I will show you two ways of creating the material. One for meshes that have multiple material slots and one for meshes that have only one slot. Let's start with creating the material. Inside of the material first create and name a vector parameter node. Then change the color of the mission to something other than black. Next create a scalar parameter node and give it a default value. Then multiply both nodes together and drag the result into the emissive color. That's it, close the window. Right click the material and create a material instance. After that you can open the instance and adjust the values to fit your project. You can use this material if you have multiple material slots for your asset. You can also change the massive color in the instance. But if you want to have a mission on an asset that has only one material slot, you will need another material. You will need to work with masks. To better explain this, I will briefly go into Blender. Here is the model of the ceiling light. If we look at the UVs of the model, then we can see that I have divided the UVs in two areas. On the right side is the light that should be emissive and on the left side is everything else of the texture. Now I will go into Quixel Mixer for a moment. You don't need Quixel to make those masks, you can create them in Photoshop or GIMP just fine. But if you don't know how to work with masks in general, you can watch my video about it, it's the first link in the description. In Quixel we can see the mask that I have created for this asset. I exported a albedo texture and the mask that I created in Quixel. At the end you will have a texture that looks like this. It's divided in two parts, the black part will have no emission and the white part will have emission. So now we can create a new material. For the material we now use the texture sample parameter to denote. And red RGB into base color. Next I copy the emissive intensity and multiply node from the first material. Duplicate the texture sample node and rename it into emissive mask. The RGB output goes into the multiply node and the result goes into the emissive color input. So now we can create a material instance from the new material. And add a albedo texture and a mask texture into it. Then you will just have to increase the emissive intensity and we are done. That's it, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye!